Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for uh, coming to listen to the story on Charat. Um, Charat means a fast running horse in Kyrgyz uh, language. Um, and we try to stay true to our name by uh, moving very fast. Um, what we aim to do and what we started doing is uh, um, building a um, large company on the basis of um, our uh, assets uh, in the former Soviet Union. We are starting with two countries uh, in uh, uh, Kyrgyz Republic and Armenia. Uh, but more importantly, uh, we started with the people. So we have accumulated over 340 years of mining experience within the executive team uh, and the board. Uh, unusual for the AIM listed company, uh, we have put together an independent board uh, that includes at least one Hong Kong uh, resident. Um, and we have 140 years, uh, 150 years experience of working in the former Soviet Union uh, in, this, uh, in this group of people. Uh, we've done that uh, in order to develop the three assets we have um, and add more uh, as we go grow through organic and non-organic way. On the basis of these three assets, uh, we can produce up to uh, half a million ounces of gold within five to six years, and we aim to add the same amount, if not more, uh, from acquisitions. A uh, company today um, has a producing asset in Armenia that is on track to get to $20 million EBITDA in the fourth quarter of this year. Uh, we have acquired that asset from a Russian company, Polymetal, turn it around, streamlined the operations, made a number of improvements, uh, published the Q3 results on Monday of uh, this week, which demonstrated that we are very much executing as we said we would. Uh, second asset is um, uh, Tulkubash uh, in, uh, 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 that's one, uh, in, in uh, Kyrgyz Republic. Uh, we'll produce first gold at the end of 2021. Uh, with that asset in production, uh, we will get to um, uh, 160,000 ounces of production from 65 now, uh, and we'll quadruple our EBITDA from $20 million to $80 million, and that will all happen without any further equity investments required, as we have all lined up all the equity uh, needed uh, to put this project in the production. We are currently negotiating on the final piece of debt uh, that uh, is, uh, uh, will, be, will be closed uh, in the first quarter of next year uh, to put Tulkubash uh, into production. Uh, and the final pro uh, project we have is called Kuzultash. It's also in the Kyrgyz Republic. Uh, that's this one. 5.4 million ounces at close to four gram of gold. Uh, that is not uh, seen in our market capitalization uh, yet, uh, even though it's half of our gold uh, resources. Uh, very attractive, large, world-scale project. Uh, it will take some time to develop, but once in production has a potential to increase uh, our, uh, our production to half a million ounces, uh, as I mentioned. Um, so we have um, uh, acquired the first asset called Kapan uh, in Armenia from Polymetal. Uh, that is, uh, um, as I mentioned, on track to produce uh, $20 million in EBITDA on a run rate basis in the first uh, quarter, fourth quarter of this year. Uh, it's actually polymetallic mine, produces copper and zinc concentrate. Gold is 60% uh, by uh, value, so we count it on a gold equivalent um, ounces. Uh, it's an uh, underground mine. We'll always have what we think is a five-year mine life for the next uh, 10 years. The next uh, uh, update on a, on a life of mine plan will be in two weeks' time. Um, we have uh, improved the operations quite considerably uh, since we acquired the asset uh, from uh, Polymetal, who improves the grade, uh, mining trucks uh, availability, uh, recoveries, uh, etc. 
uh, and uh, this is a good cash cow for us. This is an excellent uh, little asset uh, that is uh, 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 um, projected to produce 20 million in EBITDA in the years uh, to come. Uh, it's in the south of the country. There are quite a few other mining operations uh, around. Um, we have an interesting upside opportunity in regards to this asset, as the uh, mill has a million ton throughput capacity. The mine is producing 700,000 uh, tons, uh, so we have an excess capacity which we can use to utilize uh, the mill, and we have already started to treat uh, salt party ore. As you can see, uh, this is a very geologically rich region, and there are plenty of other deposits around. Uh, uh, which gives us not only an opportunity to load our, our mill, but also look for other uh, further expansion uh, uh, ideas. Uh, our next asset is called Tulkubash. Uh, we invested uh, over $30 million into this asset already. Um, this is a very simple uh, hip leach operation. Um, we'll produce just under 100,000 ounces. At today's gold price, uh, we'll generate $60 million of EBITDA. As I mentioned, that will, means that we'll quadruple our uh, EBITDA within, uh, within the three-year time period. Um, we are busy executing uh, early construction on this project, uh, currently finalizing detailed engineering. Uh, us and our mining contractor are at, at site. Uh, we are done quite a bit of press stripping already, currently building a camp for 360 people. Um, as I said, invested 30 million so far. Um, the feasibility study um, update of which we published in June of this year uh, calls for $110 million of uh, remaining capex. Sort of which uh, is provided uh, by uh, uh, the nature of the joint venture we entered into with our mining contractor, the company called Chiftai, uh, and the 80 million will be provided by the uh, bank funding, and we have a term sheet from a multilateral financial institution uh, to put that in place. We plan the completion of that funding in the first quarter of next year, meaning we're very much on track to deliver the first gold at the end of 2021. Um, uh, we, uh, at the same time, we continue drilling. We only um, kind of four kilometers on a 24 kilometer strike. Uh, we continue to see the same mineralization as we move along the mountain. Um, this is a very fertile ground for gold discoveries. We are in a part of what they call Tanshan Gold Belt. Um, the um, cost at which we add gold is $11 per ounce which is probably two to three times less than the global average. Uh, we just finished our drilling campaign for this year in another 20,000 meters. We'll publish an updated uh, resource uh, estimate uh, by the end of this year and update reserves in the fourth quarter of next year. Uh, the next project, which is underneath of the same mountain, is called Kuzultash. Uh, that is 5.4 million ounces, uh, close to four gram of gold. Uh, a very large uh, asset uh, that, uh, as I mentioned, uh, is not reflected in our evaluation uh, by the markets yet. Uh, we are uh, um, going to redo some of the feasibility study work which was done in the past by the Chinese subcontractor. Um, in uh, three years, four years ago, they finished the feasibility study estimating $300 million of NPV at 1250 gold. Uh, we are in the stages of updating our understanding of uh, uh, metallurgy and selecting the process, uh, proper process uh, to, do, uh, to, to, to do this project. Uh, it will take probably five to six years to develop it. Once in production, this will has a potential to increase um, our capacity uh, to half a million ounces of gold production in total. We are not alone uh, in the Kyrgyz Republic. There are plenty of other companies uh, in the region, particularly Chinese companies. Uh, we have a privilege of being the largest British investor uh, in the country. Uh, we are, um, by the way, organizing a third uh, Kyrgyz UK investment forum in London 
uh, where we are co-sponsors together with ZBRD on the 12th of November. I invite everyone uh, to to come over and and and, and see that uh, come to that forum. We bring in a lot of. Uh, Kyrgyz officials uh, to London for the first time uh, to participate in that in that forum. But as the largest British investor in in the Republic, we are somewhat of a poster child of a of a proper foreign investor, and we try to uh, to, to behave in the same in in a way that uh, reflects that positioning. Um, we are um, uh, very much executing on the growth path. Uh, from 65 to 160,000 ounces in, of production within uh, three years, from 20 million EBITDA to um, uh, 80 million EBITDA at today's prices. This graph is done at 1,400, I think. Um, uh, and uh, from there on to half a million based on uh, uh, the basis of existing assets only. Uh, on top of that, uh, we are looking to acquire further mines and perhaps companies uh, in the territories of the former Soviet Union, where the gold sector is very large. It's 15% of the gold production. It is very fragmented. You only have uh, two companies uh, with three assets. Uh, the largest one is Muruntau. It's across the border from us in Uzbekistan. It's the largest gold mine in the world. Uh, and two companies, Polis and Polymetal, that produce over a million ounces, and the rest of the sector is, is, is very fragmented, uh, but very large still. It's primarily private. Um, private companies do not drill well in advance. They only drill it to, in, to produce enough of cash flows for this year or next year. So giving us opportunity to uh, select an interesting assets uh, to, to consolidate, uh, perhaps assets where we can add uh, and increase value through improving the operations um, and add more gold through exploration. Overall, I have to say that this region as a whole uh, has not been uh, explored in the same way as the other parts of the world. Um, over the last 18 months, 40%, that's 4-0, of all total global exploration was done in America, in North and South America. Another 40% in Asia and Australia, and only 1%, that is 1% of holes were drilled in the territory of the former Soviet Union. That is 15% of the global world mass. So it's massively underexplored, gives us an interesting opportunity uh, to grow further. Um, that's Charat, half a million answers within five, six years from existing assets, and we'll add more from consolidation. Any happy quest questions, uh, we're happy to answer.